Hello and welcome back for more of Universal Giant Plays Donkey Kong Land. I don't know why I melted that ice over there, because I really wanted to go over to the right side of the screen and you get a preview of the boss. But we can't quite get there from here, so what the hell did we come over here for? Because this level is not required in any way, shape, or form, goddamn sharks! We wanted to 100% this game, didn't we? Yes, we did. Can I swim under that fish? Are you serious? Whee! I can swim under the fish! That's really weird how the hit detection for the other ones would be so... wide. Another big decaying bananas. Whereas some of them you can just get really close to and still not hit it. I don't understand. I, I guess you could take advantage of it if you know what it is, but I'm not as adept to these games as I guess I could be. But you can see how all that stuff is kind of hidden out of the way if you bother to try to get past the enemies. Often you'll be rewarded. Sometimes not, but most of the time you will be. And again, I can s swim right onto the fish. Okay, this is a much nicer stage than the last stage that looked like this. Ah! Of course when I say that, that happens. You have to stick one of those right in my face. Now I'm without a buddy, and I'm nervous. I am nervous! I am scared! I want my buddy! Buddy check! Buddy check! If anybody has ever gone to a day camp, you know what that means! You sit outside the pool, and you have to hold hands with whoever happens to be sitting next to you. That is a... We used to call it body check because they would, we would joke that they were checking for dead bodies in the pool. I think it is just buddy check. To make sure that... Well, to make sure that there are no bodies in the pool. I don't know. Oh, God bless the lifeguard. That was at the day camp I used to go to. I, I doubt he still works there. I think he retired. I hate these stupid things because they will chase you throughout most of the level and I get really... Uh, I get really stressed when that thing's chasing me because I know that if I mess up at any point, it's going to kill me. I just forget where the cutoff is for it to stop chasing me. I think that might have been it, but because I was so antsy to get away from it that I ran straight into the fish. And those clams. Of course. Clams. Pretty clams. Everybody loves clams. Baked clams. I would much rather see baked clams than live clams trying to eat me. I bet I don't taste, but do clams even taste? I doubt it. Oh no, another one of those things. No! Stay away! Look, it's waiting for me to respawn! That's not fair, it's sitting right on top of me! That's total- no, 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 that, that's legit, that's totally not broken at all. Is it not chasing me anymore? Do I have any reason to be fearing this thing from chasing me anymore? Dare I stop? Yeah, I think it's gone. Okay. By the way, this is the water level I dreaded doing. Because it's so long and you have those things chasing you. I mean, that's the only thing that helps you get through this level faster, is knowing that those things are chasing you. And even when I drop from the checkpoint, that thing will be chasing me. Even though I spawned absolutely nowhere near it, it will continue to chase me. But thankfully there aren't as many enemies in the way as it's chasing- IT'S STILL CHASING ME! Are you, uh, 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 you- come on! Why don't you eat one of the little fish? Eat one of the stupid little fish. That don't seem to die if they touch anything. Except me, in which case I die. Checkpoint- is there another checkpoint? Buddy Barrel is nice, but I'd rather have a checkpoint. Oh, uh, where the hell did that thing come from? I didn't go anywhere near you! Ah, he wants to violate me! Run away! Run away! Swim away! Swim for your life, you damn dirty ape! Is it still chase? It's still chase. It could go through walls too. What kind of hacks is this? Checkpoint. It's still chasing me. God damn it! Do you give up? 
You don't even have eyes. How the hell do you see me? Bloody barrel. I will go out of my way for that thing. I think there's a little hidden secret back here. Is it more coins? Oh, awesome. Is that thing waiting for me to come out? Tell me there's a like a secret way I can get out of here, please. I don't want to go out the way I came because I can't because that stupid thing is waiting for me. Ah, it's right there. It's right there. I see it. It wants to kill me. It's right there. What am I supposed to do? I'm trapped. I have no buddy. I can't get out of this alive. Maybe I can. Run, Donkey Kong. I know it's chasing after me. I know it. Maybe it's not. Am I free? Why is that niche there? This is too calm. This is too quiet. Something is going to kill me. I know it. Where is it? Where is it? Something's going to kill me. I'm getting the feeling like I'm playing I want to be the guy. Something is going to kill me. I just don't know where it's going to come from or what it's going to be. Even though I've played this game so many times, I, I'm just so scared of something coming out of nowhere to kill me. Maybe I'm just lost. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Gee, maybe this is where. There's going to be another one of those stupid things coming after me, isn't there? Uh, does that crap have eyes? Holy crap, it's the end of the level! <sighs> now I just have to get KO and she's so I can save. Ugh. But at least we're done with that level and we don't have to come back to it again. Now, there's, now these twisters tw play a bigger role because we have to use them to advance through the level. Don't go too fast in front of these because they will kind of drop you off to the side and touching the side of them will kill you. You can also kind of trap them in these under areas, gaps, crevices, canyons, I, whatever the hell you want to call them. Jumping is also fun. Watch out for the zinger. Uh, okay. See if I can jump to the rope. Yep. What's down there? I don't. Do I want to find out? Probably not. Let me just make the jump here. Checkpoint. Did I miss a bonus? I bet I missed a bonus. Doesn't matter. I'll go back and get it later. I mean, this isn't like Kirby's block ball where I can just off-screen getting a borderline or something. I have to show you where all the bonuses are. I'm pretty sure one of these leads to a bonus or something. Yeah, you can see, once you knock that down there, you have a very tough time getting the letter. I see a banana. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I mean by jumping in front of the twister, tornado, vortex, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, there's a bonus over here. And once again, this is a bit of a preclude to World 4, which is going to be some sort of construction site thing. That was a lot more fun than World 3. At least for certain parts of World 3 I just don't like. And are we at the end of World 2? I didn't get KONG. Maybe I can fit in the boss. We are at the end, right? Yeah, here's the boss, the big clam. Hopefully I can fit this in this video. What you want to do is make him fire his little thing at the stupid shell, and it'll fire it right back at itself. I believe the pair of these guys make the boss, but I'm not sure. So just get him to shoot in the direction of the other one, and the pearl he fires will just be directed right back at him. It's not that bad. In fact, it's probably the easiest boss in the game. Because the first one required me being able to jump on things. This is just me swimming in front of something and running away. I don't even have to do anything. It kills itself, essentially. Which is nice, I'm a fan of being lazy. Oh, I almost got it perfect. There we go. Now he's dead. Bananas, bananas, bananas. I don't think I have time to start the next world. This is probably a good place to leave off, because I've been recording since the first stage. So, thanks for watching, and in the next part, we will take on the second half of this game, World 3, The Mountains. See you then.